the big hulking thing. To absolutely ass all results. Geralt, you're up. Gonna shoot that asshole again. Shoot that asshole again, then. Move. <laughs> Did you have uh, two pistols on you, or just the one? Just the one. You might want to shoot the snake asshole, just saying. How many shots have you fired? Uh, I'm taking track. Uh, I have uh, probably haven't followed. <laughs> it's a five shot gun. Okay. Then, um, I've probably shot more than five shots. Um, if you reload, nah, you probably didn't. Oh, true. If I reload, you're only doing you're only doing one shots, and I'm assuming I always assume I reload after combat. Yeah, yeah. I, was, I was assuming you reloaded since the last combat, but. Oh, I've only shot, like, two or three things. Okay. So, yeah, you're good. Uh, and yeah, yeah so that, is, that is a crazy hit. Yeah, so I get the accuracy bonuses on that. Yeah. Um, shoot the snake lady. No, uh, oh, yeah, I guess I'll shoot the snake lady. Because the Hulk ain't gonna move for like, he's not gonna be able to move anywhere for like two turns anyway, so. And then plus 2d10. Yeah, it's one. That's so bad. Uh, okay, so that is 16. Yeah. Okay. Snake lady. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. Shit. Yeah, okay. Denev takes one from fragments of this thing's twisted bone just being blown apart as a oh, round shreds its arm. Damn it. And... Toughness minus ten test. Shit. Okay. Um... Oh, actually, you probably have some amount of toughness bonus, don't you? Four. Okay, yeah, so you actually don't take any damage from that, uh... Oh, good. That thing. But you still have to make the toughness minus 10. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> and... Four damage, ignores armor and toughness. Okay. As this thing's toxic, toxic blood splatters across you. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Not dead though. Not dead, but oh, <laughs> covered in goo. Dead. I thought I was gonna get out of one encounter without being splattered in gore. And this time it actually burned you. How? I miss prestidigitation. Okay. The big hulking thing moves one forward. It is now beside the captain. Denev. Ugh. Well, shit. You definitely can't make it that far. It's too close to the captain for <laughs> flame yeah, I mean, throwing. Te technically, you can flamethrower that, but... You it would, would also hit, hit the captain. <laughs> you would potentially hit the tech priest, Geralt, and the captain. Yeah, so, uh... I'll at least move over the two squares that I can move. <laughs> so no, that's no, what I can do. Than, can, no, no, you can move way more than that. Yeah, you, you can spend a whole turn running instead. Yeah. How far can I get with that? With just like three I'm agility? I'm looking it up. I'm looking it up right now. Yeah, what, what's Run with three agility is 18 squares. Oh, but then with the heavy penalty. 
Yeah, that I'm saying. I'm saying if wh wait, what's your agility right now? One. Uh, I guess so. Your regular agility is uh, thirty something, right? Yeah. Yeah. So the agility bonus is only one. Okay. Sorry, it's run six. Run six. Okay, so I was there. So one, two, three, four, five. That's the best I can do. Okay. Yeah. Okay, the tech priest that yeah, tech priest completely misses by a mile. Geralt, one last shot. All right, I'm gonna shoot this guy now. Make it happen. All right, roll these dice today. Come on. All right, that's that's over two degrees of success again. Uh, damage. Might be my last shot before reloading. And it's shooting 10. So he takes 28 damage. Okay. So square to the center mass, that the enormous thing gets thrown back, bits of blood and whatnot splat from its belly, but it gets hurled back by the shot, crumples over the corpse of its remaining fallen buddy, and combat is officially over. <sighs> Those of you who are unconscious or sobbing uncontrollably eventually wake up or somewhat come back to reality. Yay! Oh, there goes gravity. Oh, there goes gravity. He chokes. Then I was like, get it off, get it off, get it off, get it off, get it off. Why Mom's me again? <laughs> Mom's spaghetti. Why me? Why always Mom's me? Mom's spaghetti. Mom's spaghetti. Spaghetti. I don't think there's a single person who made it out of this without some kind of mental scar. Uh, then I'll throw Moss spaghetti. It's ready. Right. Then I've already had a mental yeah. scar. <laughs> Are any of the murder servitors still existing? Is there any way we can turn this thing off? Six of them Bullet? appear to be potentially salvageable. How long does it take for the warp field to go away? You're not sure. The obelisk doesn't seem to be maintaining it at the moment. At least nothing's glowing. Alright, can I find a branch or something to reach out to the servitor and tell it to grab hold and pull itself up? Would that be able to support its weight? I mean, you can always just have the cutter come down and throw it on a line. It More importantly, that's I don't, probably I don't... a better idea if we can reach the cutter. It has a winch that's been established. Yep, that has been established. Uh, the thing I want to do is I want to look at this guy's sword. <clears throat> the big guys? Yeah. It is appropriately big. It's appropriately big, but does it look like he made it himself, or does it look like it could be an artifact? Well, I mean, even if he did make it himself, he was technically human. Yeah. Um... It is very crude, definitely. I'm rolling a I'm rolling a perception right now. Just the dice is taking a bit. Mm. Um, as far as I know, he's the only dude who has like any appreciable kind of equipment. That's a failure, by the way. But as far as I know, he's the only dude with any kind of appreciable form of equipment. So like, the demonic thing had a sword that's been sliced in half, and the snake oh, yeah. one has blades mounted to its forearms. They all look crude, though. They are all quite crude, although there wasn't actually any specification of quality level. Hmm. Fair enough. Would I have any belief that I might be able to like try and interact with the thing and shut it off with the warp eye? Like with the uh, that one door in the other planet? You don't feel anything similar here. This just seems to be some kind of uh, crude warp-based cultist thing. No. Oh. 
It's like basically a warp weapon. <laughs> or like a summoning thing? That's about your best guess. Hmm. You're not exactly sure what it's meant to do. Doesn't seem like it's supposed to be a weapon exactly, but uh, definitely destabilized shit pretty good. So we think might be able to like shoot it and like knock off the obelisk and maybe stop it or flamethrower it, but I didn't think flamethrower would do anything. Probably need some actual damage. Oh, and uh, the tech priest. Now that bat now that combat has ended, does come over to Romeo, glances back at his fallen tech priest brother for a moment, but comes over to Romeo. My Lord Grey, sir. Yes, sir. I established radio communications with the cutter. Thank you. Very timely. <laughs> I established them during the, during the fight, sir. You will not like their report. Shit. <laughs> uh, Romeo sits down and then waves him to tell him the news. <laughs> he does what? He just sits down and then kind of puts a hand out and it's like, come on, lay it on me, and like waves it. Like does a little hand wave just so he can hear the news. I, uh... I stay a good distance away from every single dead body that I see. <laughs> yeah, all you, all you can think of when you look at those dead bodies is that body exploding when Thaddeus tore it to pieces. <laughs> <laughs> every one of those is some horror waiting to happen as soon as the surface is split. Sir. Your vessel has been tracking us this entire time. They have witnessed no battle. We are still traveling inland. Hmm. Okay. Well, good news is, the ship isn't blown up. Which is what I was expecting. <sighs> Most importantly, they have found no clearing. Because reality is warped to shit. Quite literally, right here. <laughs> Everyone perceptions. I I need you to roll mine. I am off mic as of now. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Whoa, Denev. Fail. Wait, that's not me. The captain does not do good. I succeed, I succeed. with Wrong. one degree. I have point one under. Yes. Okay, and Thaddeus, is that a success for you? Yeah. Uh, also, roll intelligence, just to you. My intelligence isn't very high. Oh, she's actually same as my perception. Uh, your intelligence as a subsequent test. Yeah, yeah. That is not great. I'm gonna reroll that, because I can. Okay. Basically, this is a knowledge shit Thaddeus knows because he's Thaddeus. <laughs> nope. Damn. Okay. Well, everybody can hear that strange sound you heard from the figures as you were approaching the gun cutter earlier. The strange humming and slightly twinkly crystalline noises almost. Mm. And a subtle howling and screeching just barely in the distance that then begins to draw closer. We need to move. <laughs> Because none of us are in very good shape. Okay, Random I'm not question. in very good shape. Random question. Yes. Is this the tech priest? The tech priest that lived, is he the one that knows uh, first aid? See. 
Heads or tails? I'm gonna.